All right, Shalom. I want to start by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Racha Kodash. Double honors to our venerable apostles and elders at Great Millstone who were well. And peace and blessings to the Lord's elect, the house of David. This is a brother of Haran coming back at you with another quick lesson. Lord willing, they be edifying and uplifting unto the elect. All right, because we are in the time where the Lord is going to start glorifying his, his men, his elect. Okay. And through that, he's going to be, his name is going to be glorified and magnified in the earth. Okay. Whether people want to believe it or not, now is not the time to hear that shit. All right. Because we are, we are the ones who truly believe on the name Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. All right. And I'm going to start off with the first precept. <clears throat> and then I'm going to give a testimony as to what inspired me to do this, uh, this quick lesson. All right. Uh, there's a book of Psalm chapter 62. All right, in verse five, it says, My soul, wait thou only upon the Most High Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, for my expectation is from him. Okay, my soul, wait thou only upon the Lord Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, for my expectation is from him. All right, and um, I want to say, Barakatha Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai once again. All right, call hello Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. All right. So yesterday, um, I was out, you know, doing, um, I was working and uh, I went to a store. All right. And um, I walked in there. I was with my Eve and I walked in there and um, there was uh, this, uh, there was this uh, spot where I, I passed by this aisle and there was like a price, a price tag that has one, it says fourteen forty nine on it. So I looked at it. My Eve was like, oh, look, look, there's a uh, one four four. I said, oh shit, hey, Brakta Yahuba Shimi Shai. You know? And then I, she pointed at it again, and it was three different, uh, three 144s lined up just right next to each other. 144, 144, 144, three times. It was 1449, 1449, 1449. And I seen it, I said, oh man, Brakta Yahuba Shimi Shai. Yo, that's three. You know? So my, my spirit got boosted right away. So, you know, we're uh, as we're driving, um, you know, she was like, I, I just kind of like the spirit just hit me out of nowhere. And I was just thinking about the wicked ass Jake's, you know, going back 2000 years ago, what they did to your house shot, you know, just randomly popped in my head. And I had this, this spirit of like this hot spirit just ran through me, you know, and I just started throwing up curses, <laughs> you know, I was like, oh, you wicked niggas, what you did back then, you're going to pay heavily, man. All you niggas, man, you about to get your house shot about to kick your asses, man. He's about to kick y'all asses, man. Because you done fucked up. You done fucked up. Okay? And it's funny because <laughs> you niggas know. You niggas back, you know. You niggas know. And that's why you hate the true men of the Lord so damn much. Because you know what the fuck you did last uh, 2,000 years ago, man. You niggas know. And the Lord is revealing it to us every single day through the Spirit, man. Alright? You niggas ain't shit. Okay? You niggas ain't shit, man. Every last one of you 2,000 years ago, what you did to your house, shy? And the men of the Lord, what you did to all of us, you persecuted us, all the hatred that you have for us, man. The Lord is going to heap heaps of coal upon your heads, man. Every last one of you niggas that came back in this incarnation to receive your judgment, you will be destroyed. And Barakatai Yahweh Bashim Yahweh for that because it's justified, man. All right. But I was just thinking about the hatred, man. These bitches had the nerve to say, let his blood be upon us and upon our children's children. You know, you had you had a, a whole Edomite pilot. Trying to, you know, uh, 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 you know, ask you niggas, yo, why do you want, why do you seek to put this man to death so bad? According to your law, he hasn't broken any laws. He hasn't done anything wrong. But we understand that through the spirit, it had to happen that way. All right. But anyway, so, you know, that, that kind of hit me in the spirit. So as we're, we're driving, you know, I got heated, you know, just randomly. And I was just praying, Father, you know, man. So. We're going and then she said she was in the car so she said oh man like it would be so dope if like a chariot just pulled up right in front of us and just beamed beamed us up you know just beamed us up and i, sh I shook my head and i said ah well we still got it'll be nice but we still got some work to do you know i just kept saying i said it three times i said yeah but we got work to do you know we still got work to do we still got a little bit more work to do it's just almost done but we got some work to do you know and as i was saying that i was i was meditating in my head you know about you know the little more work that we have to do you know even though it's heavy lifting guess what 
it's almost done it's almost done man you know look at the, look at the things that's going on around the world and i believe through the spirit 2022 hey man it's, it's gonna be crazy it's gonna be a, a, a hellish year a time like never before 2021 you could see they, they're building things up all right the lord is look what's going on just in this month alone in the month of december the last month in 2021 look at look at all the stuff that's happening all types the most high is jacking people up left and right so you know we're in the time of judgment you got explosions you got tornadoes you got earthquakes you got tsunamis you got all types of shit all types of shit going on man you got people getting put to death you know building buildings collapsing bombs being shot off hitting uh targets civilians all kinds of shit is happening man you know and that's all uh going back to uh second that's just a knife chapter that we've seen uh some of the signs pass so we understand that is the very same time in which the uh, the, the the holy one of of israel yahweh bashim all right will begin to visit the earth which he made and the visitation has begun that that also means that the word is about to stop going out because if the visitation has come then there is no need for the word because the word was to prime you for the visitation was to warn you about the visitation and once the visitation is here then what's there to warn you about it's here this is what we this is our job our job is done you see and scripture says that it's going to come as a thief in the night so a lot of people are not paying attention to the warning you know just like two thousand years ago you had a big problem with your house shot you had a big problem with his men and you have the same thing the same spirits are back here again doing the same shit, man all right but this time you're not going to go scot-free this time you're not going to get to say let his blood be upon us and upon our, our children's children man he said i shall not meet thee as a man he came two thousand years ago as a man and he conquered death as a man so imagine what the hell he's going to be doing all right in his divine form all right he could he, he defeated death and he was a man who did that so what do you think his divine nature is going to be like man that's why he is the king of kings man okay so i'm meditating all these things and after i said you know that yeah we still got a lot work a, a little bit more work to do it's almost done but we still got work to do you know i'm, I'm meditating on how cold is about to get you know because hey december has been unusually warm especially out here in new york you know the past couple of weeks uh the couple of weeks going out to camp it's been nice man it's been warm you know we should be in frigid temperatures you know brothers freezing you could barely feel your your fingers your toes <laughs> you know you could barely speak your lips all frozen you know that's what we're used to in the winter time that's what we we prepare ourselves for you know making our bodies a living sacrifice this 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 that's something that a spirit got to be on you to do okay that's something a spirit got to be on you to do all right and we do that we do that because we believe that we are the same men coming back so after I said that, we saw a big ass sign that says sincere. And my ego is like, oh, look, it says sincere. I said, oh my God, Brakatai Al Bashim Yao Shai. I said, the Lord knows our heart. The Lord knows our hearts. The Lord knows our hearts. I said that like three times again, you know? And I got so excited in the spirit. I said, oh, Father, the water, you know? The water, because the world doesn't see it, but it's only us. What goes on within our, our hearts, that's you. You're the only one who knows, you see? And for for it says sincere, boom, right there. I said, "Oh my goodness, Brakata Yahuba Shimi Shai." And then we turned to our right, and there was uh, another sign that says "Grit and Grace." And then I said, "Oh my God, Brakata Yahuba Shimi Shai." I just started losing it. <laughs> you know, I was losing it. Then I said, "Oh Lord, 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 you're here with us. Oh Lord, you're here with us." I I just started screaming, "Yahuba Shimi Shai, Brakata Yahuba Shimi Shai." You know, "Oh Brakata Yahuba Shimi Shai," because that's that's literally it you know his sincere men he gives us what the grit and the determination to keep on going and through the grace of yahweh bashim yahushua we're able to keep on going and sustain okay and that's what it's going to take it's going to take grit to endure till the end and the grace and mercy of yahweh bashim yahushua to keep us going all right but you have to be sincere in order to do those things man so when i saw that i said oh that's the spirit that's the spirit you know right after we said what we said and we saw 144 earlier what does that mean man you know so right then and there it's like it's almost like it just it just hits home it hits home man it's different you know and i said man and then i told my brother about it and he said hey you know what it's crazy because nowadays you could feel the presence of the lord closer and closer he's not the only one who said it countless amount of brothers even in our camp you know 
brothers in our camp saying it elders in our camp saying it yo now it's like i pray to the lord and i hear a voice i could literally hear a voice telling me things man i say yo that's the spirit the lord is very closer and closer to us man you know as hell you know gets to intensify and, and all hell is about to break loose and it actually eventually does break loose and you can actually see it in your neighborhoods and not just seeing it on social media okay or in a different country or whatever but you're actually seeing the shit that's happening in australia coming over here austria coming over here we're talking lockdowns we're talking uh, uh, uh draconian measures at an all-time high we're talking so-called natural disasters you know people dying people killing each other hatred amongst each other division at an all-time high you know you're you're uh, uh you going outside is not safe no more you getting all these weirdos you know looking at you funny giving you funny looks they say yo everybody gotta wear a mask you say fuck that shit i'm not wearing no damn mask and now you got people giving you dirty looks you know everywhere you go people are looking at you like yo you 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 know what i'm saying you might be sick or something like these sickos are looking at you like you sick we live in a complete state of hypochondriacs a whole bunch of people who believe they're sick and in turn they actually are sick okay a whole bunch of a whole bunch of hypochondriacs man but we the believers of yahweh shim shai coming back again we believe on the name so wholehearted wholeheartedly that that's the only name we're gonna call upon man we've been doing it you bitches been witnessing it for all these years but now you're about to start to see why we always called upon the name of the lord okay that yes that name is connected to a certain people and when those people are connected to that power in their right in their right sense in their right source they're unstoppable they're unstoppable man and we we're starting to see it okay get a quick precept all right we're starting to see it man man yesterday i said oh my lord so hey very soon man brothers gonna start seeing things you know don't be surprised when you start seeing and you gotta believe man just believe just believe man that's it before you pray believe before you speak to your lord believe why because he is okay that's all it is he is man Okay, and that is a gift that only the elect will have. Okay? There's a book of Zephaniah, chapter 3, and verse 8. It says, Therefore wait ye upon me, saith the Lord Yahweh Bashim Shai, until the day that I rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations, that I may assemble the kingdoms, to pour upon them mine indignation, even all my fierce anger. For all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy and that's what you're seeing now but this is really going into third, third the third world's war because all these other nations partook all right in our affliction okay so now they're about to they're about to receive of their judgment for what they did to the children of israel okay so now the lord is pushing everyone shifting the energy all right towards the 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 uh the valley of jehoshaphat okay armageddon is coming all right you you got uh, uh russia in the news you got uh, 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 China in the news. You got NATO in the news. Okay. Ukraine. All these different countries. All right. Iran. Uh, uh, Israel. All right. And, and and a lot of these major EU EU countries are all banding together. All talking about war. They're all talking about war, man. What is that talking about? That's the Lord who's doing that. He's stirring up the spirits. Okay. Joel, the third chapter. Prepare ye war. All right. So that's what's coming, man. But in the midst of it, guess what? The Lord said he got us. Okay? And he's not kidding, man. <laughs> Yahushua, I said he got us. And he, he got us. That's that's what that means. All right? This is a book of Revelation, chapter 3, verse 10. It says, Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. And we're in the midst of the hour of temptation right now. But remember, there are always ups and downs. There's always a balance. We're about to kick into the highest point of temptation when the MOTB is officially announced to be mandated. Okay? Because right now as we speak, you have people right now who are being tempted to go get the thing because life is getting harder. You're starting to hear questions like, yo, what are we going to do? Oh my God, Like I can't even get a job. Every Everywhere I apply to, they're asking me to get the, the, the thing. So what are we going to do? How are we going to eat? How am I going to pay my bills? You see, this is where the faith comes in. That the Lord said he got you, didn't he? So don't worry about it. Just keep on going. See, the thing is, Esau, well, Satan likes to fuck with you. Okay, Satan will always put fear in your mind. But you have to conquer that fear with your faith. And you notice too, through the spirit, something I notice is, normally, 
it's the the fear only comes in or most of the time the fear is coming in when the shit hasn't even happened yet so our minds our anticipation of how things are gonna be you know like damn they say next month you know uh if you don't get the thing you can't you're gonna be fired you know you're thinking about damn like everything that's gonna be happening you know it hasn't happened yet but you're thinking ahead and you're getting stressed out but then every time you get to that point the lord always got a solution for you you see so you got to just have faith that when you get there you'll be you'll be good rather than sitting here and thinking about the future and getting all stressed out in your mind and how my children are gonna eat you know how am i gonna be able to pay my car note my insurance my car like i can't even go to the hospital i can't have health insurance because i'm of an i'm unvanessed there's a whole system that's being turned against us right a whole system a whole world that's being turned against us you're seeing your friends and family members you know who have been sacrificed you know that they're not part of the elect guess what they're turning against you they're looking at you funny you know and as the days go by it looks like those who don't comply are the ones who are the problem so they're going to start using dehumanization tactics on us you know making it easier for people to approach us and be you know be stupid but don't be stupid around the, the wrong person because you might get clapped <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Jake is not playing that shit right now. You know, we when you come up, you come at us the wrong way, we might use wisdom. Just don't offend us because the Lord will get you, will jack you up. So just don't fuck with us. You know, we're not going to do nothing to you. The Lord will do something to you. He's our defense. Okay, so don't try no dumb shit when you come around us because you will get hurt. All right, you will get hurt, man. Just putting you on notice. All right, <laughs> you will get hurt because <laughs> the people of the Lord, the elect of the Lord, are very loved. And protected so you will get hurt just so you know all right so we gotta we gotta have in our minds that yeah you know thinking about and the anticipation of the future that's always gonna bring stress to your mind because the future ain't got nothing good in it especially here in babylon until we get to the kingdom is all downhill from here so when you think of the future <clears throat> it's natural for, for us to feel nervous it's natural for us to start having spirits uh, the spirit of doubt you know but that's where you have to conquer that because how should I even went through that? Okay? It's the scripture says that he was uh he was sorrowful even unto death. So the man was afraid to die. That's natural. Everybody's afraid to die, man. But once you have the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai and you understand that you will live forever, all right, being a part of the elect, you're gonna be risen back up again anyway. Okay, they're not thousands or uh, 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 scripture says that um, uh, you know, multitudes, people, when Yahweh had died, all right. Uh, there, there was an earthquake okay there was an eclipse that lasted for three three hours pitch black pitch black people had to light up their la lanterns and shit that's how dark it was scripture says confusion was set people were, couldn't f see their way out they thought it was <laughs> they were scared because they thought you know the sabbath had come that's how dark it got you know and it was only the sixth hour to the ninth hour we in the afternoon man we hours of the afternoon Okay, and there was an earthquake, and guess what? People rose from the tombs and lived full lives, man. Okay, they went out there and, and, and lived full lives, serviced their lives to the Most High. Okay, and they lived on forever. So, look, and I mean, they came, they, they, they all, you know, passed that generation, but they're back here again, you know, to testify on what, what happened 2,000 years ago through this ministry, through this word. You know what I'm saying? When you read things like that, you got to. You gotta really like think about it like damn this is the power we serve now who could come against something like that man who could come against something like that he rose lazarus from the dead lazarus was dead for four days scripture says his body was rotten he started to stink you know satan thought he had it and yahweh came and just grabbed snatched him out of the hands of death rose him right back up you see so what can't he do man he said wait ye upon me he said, because you've kept my patience, I will also keep thee in the hour of temptation. He will keep guard, meaning protect us, guard us, watch over us. Hey, some of us might be cast into prison. Guess what? Didn't the Lord send angels to break men out of prison? So guess what? Some of us going to be getting broken out of prison, prison break. Okay? Yahweh Shai himself might come down and, and, and through the spirit, deliver certain brothers. You know? Why not? He's done it before. You know? You have men who are in prison. You know, they thought it was over. Damn, like by tomorrow morning, they said they about to chop my head off. You know, they're going to put me in a guillotine or whatever. You know, they're about to torture me, all kinds of shit. And next thing you know, a bright light just pops up out of nowhere. You know, 
and then boom you get you get teleported to a different land to a different place you know and people bug it oh my goodness what happened to those men that were here what what's going on what, hey how did they break out of this this is unbelievable you know how should i go send angels to come fight for us you know feed us so there's nothing to be worried about man we're talking real life events that's going to be scary events for this, the, the people of this world but for us it's going to just be faith boosters man straight up faith boosters you're going to start seeing the power of, of healing because you've got a lot of people who are sick yesterday i'm in the car with my ear i said yo i said this i said this a few months back and i'm saying it again because it keeps getting worse this is the most amount of sick people that i've ever seen in my life i'm talking sick people who are not in the hospital it's become the norm to see every three out of every two out of three people you see is sick some way somehow sick they either they look weakly all right they're weak as shit all right they look like they're about to drop dead or they're just limping or they're holding on to some type of support you know it's not that many people you see healthy no more they all got masks on their face they all look sick they all look scared you know people don't want to get close to each other when they see you they like oh let me move out the aisle for you let me let me you know it's like just just keep on living with your life man damn and then you, you might have a couple people in there that they see the spirit in your eyes and they they, they they see the glimpse of hope you know like damn at least he's not like them you know they might crack a joke you laugh you crack jokes back and they're like oh my goodness i miss those days where people were still human and that's normally the old heads you know you got a lot of older people that these young people they're all done they're finished bro a whole bunch of zombies walking around but the, the older heads you know some of them see us young brothers and shit they see us and they're like damn like it's, it's cool to see someone who's not dead <laughs> you know what i'm saying at least there's still hope you know there's still hope you know but the real hope comes from our heavenly father yahweh through his son yahweh shot man you know and only the the believers are going to go through that okay they're going to receive of that salvation that hope okay the strength of salvation man all right here's a book of first samuel chapter 26 and verse 24 it says and behold as thy life was much set by this day in mine eyes so let my life be much set thy by the oh no it's lucky like that's wrong uh hold on is this first samuel yeah i'm in the wrong uh the wrong precept so like here 26 verse 24 or was it 24 verse 26 no let's see let's see <laughs> so right here yeah let me read that again there's a book of uh first samuel chapter 26 and verse 24 it says and behold as thy life was much set by this day in mine eyes so let my life be much set by in the eyes of the lord yahweh and let him deliver me out of all tribulation okay so let the most high yahweh bashim yahushai deliver us from all tribulation man okay and that's if we believe on him just you just got to believe and that's something that's only given to the elect of the nation of israel starting with the men okay i mean it took faith for us to come out here and do the work okay so it's going to take faith for us to complete our work all right because scripture says that what the true worshipers must worship him in spirit and in truth okay and to worship something in spirit means to to have faith in it okay because you can't see it it's not tangible you can't you can't you know feel it with your senses you can only, you know, feel it in the spirit. All right. There's a book of Proverbs chapter 18, verse 10. It says, The name of the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. Okay. So only those who call upon that name, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, and are part of the elect are going to be receiving salvation, are going to be receiving redemption, are going to be receiving deliverance from whatever it is that we're going to come across. Whether it's financial, whether it's medical, whether it's physical, whether it's emotional, mental, whatever it is, okay? The Lord said he got us, man. Don't worry about it. Do not worry about it, man. Just keep the faith, okay? Keep the faith, man. The Lord is not a man that he should lie. Everything he said that's written down that we read time and time again, like Romans 15 and 4, everything written at four time was written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope okay might have hope man all right and one of the hope one of the things that we hope for is right here daniel chapter 12 verse 1 and at that time shall michael stand up the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people 
and there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time, and at that time thy people shall be delivered. Every one that shall be found written in the book, and that's talking about the time of trouble, the time of Jacob's trouble that we're entering into now. And things are being built up to that point. If you're if you're spiritual, you will see. Right? Scripture says that uh the a prudent man foreseeth the evil to come. All right? And, but the foolish, you know, they, they run right into it. <laughs> and roughly paraphrase, they just they don't they're oblivious to it. You know, you got people getting ready to go to New York City to go watch a, a, a New York City ball drop for the new year. The Lord could have a, ni a nice little disaster because you already had an omen where the uh, so-called Christmas tree down in the city got put, got torched up. You know, I forgot how much it was. It was over a million dollars, five hundred, five million dollars, some shit. It got, it got put up in flames right fast. Okay, so who knows that ball drop? <laughs> most I could do some, some, some shit where you might have some, 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 you know some death you know a nice little disaster to start off the year end of one year and, and kick off the new year with a bang all kinds of troubles and pains and suffering and disaster lights go out you know out there in cali i just seen the elder malcolm uh, do a video all right that is is a, is a purge going on out there man the officers the la uh, pd is saying that yo if you ain't got no business coming out here just don't be out here bro because people are wild crime rates are out, out the roof and guess what like the scripture says in second Ezra, uh, the 15th chapter or what a man is good people are gonna be invading one another because of what for lack of what lack of bread and for great tribulation and tribulation comes in many forms you know desperate times call for desperate measures so like we said it's not about you know how much money you have it's not about how much fame you have it's not about how cute you think you are okay it's about the faith you have in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, and if you're part of the elect or not. You see, that's the most important commodity to have right now faith. And you have to have it in abundance. And you have to have faith in the right thing. Okay, the right spirit, the right one, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, regardless of what the results are, regardless of what people think or feel about it. It doesn't matter. Okay, because now we're in a time of judgment. And when there's judgment, nobody gets to talk shit. Okay, you just present your case and let the Lord deal. All right, let the Lord deal. You have precepts, Isaiah 59 and 19. All right, Isaiah 40 and 31. Okay, and so so many different precepts, man, but there's many times guaranteed that the, the elect are gonna be good, man, and the Lord is gonna continue to show and, 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 and make his presence known amongst the brotherhood and among the elect, okay? So you're gonna be seeing that brother's gonna be having dreams of the, the of, of Yahweh Shai's return, okay? Very vivid dreams, all right? Because some of us experienced certain things, okay, that was to come, but it happened 2,000 years ago. So the Lord is going to put the spirit back in your mind to remember those things that you experienced 2,000 years ago. Certain specific promises, details, you know. Hey, and the Lord might have that just so you could boost certain brothers and sisters' faith, you know. Because all of us were with him 2,000 years ago. We're back again, man. We're back again, bro. Doing the same thing, all right. And he loves us just like we love him. Okay, and how do we love him by doing the work, by doing his will, to the best of our ability? Okay, but yeah, man, I just wanted to share that, uh, uh you know, with brothers, you know, man, it, it boosted my spirit, you know, because Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai's power is is undeniable, man, and if we are the ones who serve him, then what is there to be worried about, brothers and sisters? What is there to be worried about, especially the men? What are we worried about? We should have nothing to worry about. I mean, think about it. Week in, week out, doesn't he give us the ability to be able to go out there and do his work? We labor for this man. You know, we're, we're the servants of the king of the universe. Okay? And that is the highest position you could be in. I mean, think about it. If you were a servant of the, the highest person on this planet Earth, wouldn't you be put in a very high esteem? Wouldn't you be protected and, and be good and looked for, catered to? Because this, whoever this king is, sees you as very, very important. Right? So it's the same thing for us, men of the Lord. We're going to be protected, man. You know what I'm saying? Time and time again. All right? That's why we got to read the scriptures and believe what the scriptures say. Believe on the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai because he's not going to lie. Okay? And we're in the time where the words are going to be made manifest. You're going to start seeing words become actions. Okay? And that's when people are really going to be spooked. Okay? Scripture says, Then shall it be known who are my chosen. So upon command, words are going to make things happen, man. Our faith 
by our works okay our faith by our works man okay so let's finish strong man the year 2022 here it comes all right but guess what yahweh bashim shai here he comes okay so low when you've been edified i want to give all praises honor and glory to yahweh bashim yahweh shai bashim rakakodash the water yahweh bashim yahweh shai for for the inspiration all right and until next time shalom